All right. So, este es tu presente progresivo parte dos. Right? So, we've talked about reflexive verbs. We've talked about ing verbs. And now what we're doing is we're combining reflexive verbs and ing verbs together. So, instead of saying, I wash my face, we're now going to be able to say, I am washing my face. I am combing my hair. No, not me personally, because soy cavo. Don't say that's a different story altogether. So, same ideas apply. Okay, tus reglas. Tus reglas, you're always, 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 always using the verb estar. We're using the verb estar because the action can stop right away. La acción que puede parar inmediatamente. Esta es la razón que estamos usando, usando, <laughs> ing, el verbo estar. Okay? Regla número dos, tus terminados, your endings. Con verbos como hablar, caminar, andar, montar, que termina en AR, necesitas escribir A-N-D-O, A-N-D-O, ando. If you remember, ando, aniendo, this is your English word for ing. That's how you say ing. So you keep your root, talking, dancing, walking. You guys remember all that, yes? Okay, so this is bailando, uh, bailando. Okay. Uh, caminando, same idea. Los verbos que terminan en er o ir como comer, escribir, dormir, all of those, todos los estos verbos, tu termino es e-n-d-o, e-n-d-o, estoy comiendo, sí. Of ING verbs? No, for like the, the, the That's what I'm doing now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So now, what we're doing, instead of just saying, I am dancing, estoy bailando, we're now saying, I am dancing with myself. Whitney Houston sang a song about it. It was really good. Okay. So now you're adding the reflexive to the, no, I think it was Billy Idol. It was Billy Idol. Yeah, Billy Idol, Dancing With Myself, great song. We're adding the reflexive to it. So, example, level one Spanish, a regular, una frase regular, regular sentence, okay? I wash, I dance at my house. Okay? Who's doing the action? I am, right? Who's receiving the action? Well, really, no one. It's like you're just doing something, right? Does that make sense? So this is just a Spanish one sentence where you would go through and say, yo bailo a mi casa. Simple, regular, level one sentence. I wash my car. I wash the dog. I wash the dishes. Okay? Whatever it is, it's just a simple, level one Spanish sentence. True that? So then, we get into a reflexive verb sentence. If you remember with reflexive verbs... With the reflexive verb sentence, who's doing the action? Or what's the big kicker between reflexive verbs? Yeah, awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Woohoo! Whoever's doing the action is receiving the action, right? They have to match. Your subject pronoun has to match your reflexive, has to match your verb. You guys all remember this, yes? So, this is where you would go through and say, I shower in the morning. Okay? I shower in the morning. Okay? Who's doing the action? Who's receiving the action? 
Right, the same person. I am showering myself. Okay, when I become old and encrypted, oh, green, oh, then I'm going to have my kids shower me. That's not a reflexive verb. Why? Because I'm not going to be mobile. So it's their job. I change their diapers. They're going to have to change mine down the road. Okay, that was in a contract I wrote out for them. So in this particular case, I am showering myself. The subject pronoun must match the reflexive, which must match the verb. So you would say, for time's sake, yo, may, ducho, de la manana. Okay? Your subject pronoun matches your reflexive, which matches your verb. So far, so good? Okay. Then we get into ing verbs. I am washing the car. Okay? Who's receiving the action? The car. Who's doing the action? I am, right? So by doing this, is this a reflexive verb? No. It's a simple ing sentence. I am doing it right now. Could I stop? For sure, right, when I'm done. So here, it's a simple sentence. Rule number one of ing verbs is? Always use the verb estar. Yo estoy lavando. Boyfriend, girlfriend, relationship, high school relationship, one always has to follow the other. El coche. Or el carro, one or the other. Okay? Yo estoy lavando el coche. I am washing the car. Make sense? The ando does not show number or gender. Ando, any endo is always ando, any endo. It's a verb. It just means ing. Right? Now we're adding these two together. We're adding the reflexive and the ing verb together. So here is your reflexive pp. <laughs> I am shaving in the morning. Okay? Now, could I have someone shave my face? Yeah, you guys ever seen the movie Tombstone? It's like the greatest old western thing in the world. You have someone shave your face. I'm not on that status, so I have to do it myself. So, I am receiving the action of what I am doing. But notice it's different than I shave in the morning. I am saying I am shaving myself in the morning. Does that make sense? So, rule number one of ing verbs. Rule number one of ing verbs. Always use the verb estar. Yo estoy afeitando. Now, I'm shaving myself, so where does my reflexive verb go? Look at our formula. Yeah, it goes before the verb or after the ending. I'm going to show you both. So you would say, yo me estoy afeitando de la mañana. Same exact way that you would use it with a reflexive verb. Yo me afeito. I shave myself. Yo me afeito. Or yo me estoy afeitando. These are linked together. These never leave each other's sides. So your reflexive has to go in front. Or, O, puedes escribir. Yo estoy afeitando. Me. Attached to it in the morning. You can pick. I will say. The first one is used more regularly than the second one. If you're used to putting the reflexive before the verb because that's what we've been working on, then do this. Don't get hung up between the two. Okay, do whatever is easier for you as far as what that looks like. You can either say, yo me estoy afeitando de la mañana, o 
Yo estoy afetando me, which is all one word, afetando me. The me is attached to the afetando. Okay? So this is how you do present progressive with reflexive verbs, which is what we're going to be working on today.